Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Oh my god, the review that you guys have all been waiting for is finally here. We're going to be reviewing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I have three shades here. I've got Dulce de Leche, Butter Pecan and brown sugar i'll swatch these for you so hopefully it can help someone out there but i'm pretty sure my shade is dulce de leche i'm really really pale at the moment i'm so excited to review this foundation or oh, any like when it comes to huda beauty products i know you guys love the reviews a lot of her products are like my go-to favorite products um and the liquid foundation is actually almost finished like the one that i got um, I used to use brown sugar in the liquid and I used Dulce de Leche in the stick foundation. The stick foundation is like a go-to for me at the moment. I love wearing it, especially on like natural days. It sits so beautifully on the skin. If you guys want to review, I'll link it in the info box. But yeah, absolutely love that uh, foundation. But I'm really excited to try this because I love that it's got a luminous touch to it. I wanted to get this review out for you guys ASAP because the, the foundation is currently on offer um, on boots uh, for 20 27.20 but it's usually 34 pounds for 35 mil so you get a bit more than the usual 30 mil so it says on the little leaflet here that it's a new and improved formula it's 24 hour flexible wear non-drying fragrance free oh my god finally i've always said the only thing that i don't really like about the liquid is the fragrance and i was so happy when the stick didn't have that fragrance um so it's really cool that they listen to their consumers feedback um, and made such a big change because to reformulate a whole foundation and remove a scent is like, I don't think that would be an easy task, you know? Um, it's non comedogenic, life proof, so waterproof, super long wear, transfer proof, fade proof, sweat proof, humidity proof. So I'm grabbing Dulce de Leche. I'm actually going to quickly do a few swatches before I moisturize my skin. Okay, so that's Dulce de Leche, which I think is going to be my shade for sure. Then we have the shade Butter Pecan, which is actually a bit more on like a salmon-y pinky side and it's lighter so I won't be going for that one and then we have that brown sugar which is actually not a bad shade I think I could get away with, with it in summer but it's definitely too orangey for me right now it's like very very warm and it's slightly darker than Dulce de Leche so Dulce de Leche will be the perfect shade for me right now I'm just gonna try and not put too much at first because it is like a full coverage foundation and it's still got that thick formula just how I remember it and I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender definitely no fragrance I'm so happy Oh my god, if they could do like the setting spray without the fragrance, that would be bomb too. I was so gassed when Huda Beauty watched my last vid, my, my review, like, I was like, what? Is that actually Huda Beauty? I don't know, but it's much appreciated. And so many of you guys have been asking to get a review on this. I even actually went and bought the foundation, but literally three minutes later, the notification came through that I was gonna get it in PR because I didn't know if I was, although I do usually. But anyways, I might re I'm gonna probably refund the foundation because I don't need it anymore. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I might actually give away the other shades. Because with the other foundations, I've given them to my mom and my sister and they just don't use it. So I'd rather it go to someone that's gonna use it, you know? I think it the having just like two or three shades is really good to like swatch for you guys so it can give you like a rough idea but i'm not going to use it and i don't want it to go to waste right and to be honest i prefer to get two to three shades that are around my skin tone rather than getting the whole range because i used to get that before and it was it was amazing at the time but like when it kept coming like i just ended up with so much foundation that i'm having to give it to like people because i don't have a kit i've given it to some makeup artists on Instagram so they can add it to their kit but I just prefer it this way like there's just three shades I choose one and then I can maybe give away the other two to um one of you guys once I've done the review but honestly this is like it's beautiful it's also blending so nicely I'm just gonna bring it down my neck if you look at my arm like my arm is darker 
than my face so you guys think like oh i'm going really dark but like i'm not because my my body's darker than my face and my neck i'm gonna see if i can cover this scar got a really annoying scar here that's literally covered it right up right it's not completely matte it's got like a really cute glow to it but it's matte at the same time like i would never put those two words to together but it's got this matte flat finish but like a a skin glow at the same time like it's not greasy looking if you get what i mean i'm really happy with that i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back all right guys i just finished my makeup and everything just looks so flawless like the base is just i don't know how to explain it it's just how i remember like i don't see any difference compared to like the old formula yeah it almost feels the same like I can't see any major differences. I like the shade match because brown sugar was a little bit warm for me, um, but I still wore it nevertheless. Like literally my bottle's empty. Like there's just like this much left in it. I'm getting a little bit of smile lines already, which is normal with this foundation. That's what I kind of got um, with the original one, but there's nothing you can't fix. So I like to do this because I realise I get smile lines because I've got too much product around this area and automatically I want to put more product because I'm trying to like cover my pigmentation a little bit but like the more you put here the more you're going to get smile lines so the beauty blender is kind of like blending it but also absorbing any excess product. The lipstick I'm wearing is the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Dirty 30. I'm having a mauve moment today. So it's currently... 8:40 a.m i'm gonna wear the foundation for the rest of the day and we're gonna see how this sits although i'm pretty sure it's gonna hold up pretty well like this is a long wearing foundation i've done my makeup how i usually do it i haven't worn primer or setting spray but mo all of my reviews are done without primer and setting spray like i just do that just to see how the foundation works on its own but prime using a primer will definitely help in any case By the way, the shade is really good for me. Like wearing a concealer and bronzer just helped just unify everything. Question is, is this mask resistant? Let me just put on a mask to test it. Okay, so I've got a mask here. There's nothing on here. I'm not gonna like press it because that's not what we do. So I'm just gonna talk. I feel like if they're if there's gonna be any transfer, it's from like the bronzer or the blush. Yeah, there's definitely some on my lips of my lipstick, but there's nothing really else on there. It's not bad. I'm not going out today, so it's like let me just press it here to see if this. I'm just testing it right now, okay? There's just a lit like the tiniest amount that's come on there, which isn't too bad to it, given the fact that I'm literally pressing it on my skin and the foundation still looks intact. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated if I do ever wear a mask all day long with this foundation. I feel like with any foundation, you're going to get some foundation transfer, like unless it's like glue, like do you know what I mean? But for full coverage foundation and having just this much, like barely any transfer on the mask, it's not that bad. But I can't say it's like completely transfer proof because which foundation is, you know, it's just the smallest amount of it. So yeah, guys, I will see you guys later on and we'll see how this sits on my skin. All right, guys, it's now just about 5.30 p.m. I am so exhausted. Like I literally just want to like take all this makeup off and go to sleep. Like I'm so sleepy right now. I filmed three videos like this video and like two other food videos and edited like i've just been all over the place today this foundation has held up pretty well what hasn't held up though is this blooming brow right here mm -mm. Let's try and fix it honestly the foundation hasn't even budged it hasn't even budged it hasn't even budged on my nose it's a little bit dewy in some areas like on my t-zone area that's where i get a little bit oily sometimes but it looks really really flawless like this is a really nice foundation like it hasn't it, it's just not disappointed me today it's slightly gathered around this bit but 
I would say that's kind of normal with this foundation because it used to do that before. This is the kind of foundation that I would wear when I'm going for a special occasion, if I'm going to an event or I just want a full beat glam because this is definitely a full coverage foundation. Your skin looks dull like, like whilst the stick foundation I really like because it just looks like skin and it's amazing for every day and that's the kind of look I like to go for every day but your girl still loves a good beat every now and then and this is the foundation I would reach for for sure because it's long wearing, it's flawless, it photographs beautifully so yeah I really really like it, the shade is perfect, I love that they have a, an amazing colour range, I love that they listen to their consumers, I think the price of the foundation is good, you get a decent amount, This you only need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. To be honest, if even for every day I should definitely try and use the tiniest amount and see if I can blend it with a brush and see if I can get a more natural finish but this is definitely full coverage beat full coverage beat um yeah love this foundation i'll show you guys a close-up but this has lasted pretty well throughout the day especially because i've been running around like a headless chicken doing this that's on camera lighting food eating my lipstick hasn't lasted it's so gorgeous i love it love 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 it i would rate this a good i would rate this a good 9 out of 10 it's so flawless it hasn't even given me smile lines like the tip with the sponge really does help me and this is not only with this foundation it's with a lot of foundations because i just have really big cheeks and when i smile i just naturally have these smile lines it's just the, my face it, it's just the way my face is it hasn't even gone weird around my nose cheeks like literally flawless you still can't see my scar which is insane because this scar has been bothering me for a while <laughs> okay um and even like the shadows hood up it's lasted all day no creasing so yeah guys good 9 out of 10 i love the show range i think it's well priced the packaging hasn't changed. You can tell this one has been well loved because the writing has just completely rubbed off. Not the Huda, but just the beauty bit. I don't know if it, the same will happen with the new one, but the packaging is still intact. Like, it's not bad quality, do you know what I mean? When it comes to the formula itself, it replicates what I loved about the original foundation. The only big difference to me here is the smell. Yeah, I'm really happy about the fragrance-free option, and I know a lot of you will prefer that because a lot of you have sensitive skin, a lot of you get headaches when you smell these scents on your face all day long. But the formula itself really reminds me of how the old one is, except that it has a bit more of a glow to it. But then again, I have really dry skin and it hasn't given me flakiness or anything. It just replicates how the older foundation was would sit on my skin, but with a bit of a, a cute glow. So yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy. A good 9 out of 10. I don't know why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10. I feel like I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 because I personally prefer a more skin-like finish these days. This is not something I'm going to be using every day, personally. If you love a good full beat every day, then this is, like, your foundation. But yeah, this is definitely a foundation I have no issue, like, repurchasing myself. I had already purchased it to review for you guys. And I just love that there's no scent. That scent that I'm so used to with this formula is not there. So it feels weird because I've worn this foundation so many times. Yeah, I'm super happy. I really hope you found this video helpful. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below if you want me to review another kind of product let me know as well uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye